Hi, I'm Mike. I'm from the Halx SBL team from Hamburg. Uh, we're about to play our uh, semi-final game against the HTWK robots. We're really looking forward to it. We've been tuning our walking engine. We're using an inverse pendulum to really try to keep those robots on their feet. And we've been working on our ball intercepts. So we're making sure we can detect the ball for longer, see it earlier, and really step into the way and create a strong defense. And I'm really hoping that's going to take us to the final. All right, we are starting now. During the ready state, the two teams need to position themselves on the field. The challenge, the principal challenge here is that this specific lighting condition with big windows next to the field render the line detection pretty hard for them. So it may be that their initial positioning could be slightly wrong. Also, we see the goalkeeper from Hulk's is kind of tired, so probably he's taking a nap slightly before the beginning of the match. All right, we are ready to begin. Atvika Robots with the kickoff attempts immediately uh, to score, but that's just not fast enough. We can see some robots struggle to manage the roughness of this field. Great defensive play by Hulks. And now the TVK team would have a kick in in an offensive position. TVK is still with, uh, uh, Hulks are still playing without a goalkeeper. And we see, yeah, the defender is trying to save as, as much as he can. With yeah. <laughs> Pretty strong defense by Alks. We'll see if Atevika can dribble through. Yep. And that's the first goal, guys. Atevika robots one, Alks zero. Alks are playing without keeper, so yeah, it's a bit unfair at the moment. We'll see if they can they manage to put it back in the game. Yeah. They are now. All right, we are seeing a bunch of penalties now. An inactive robot is a robot that cannot move anymore for more than 45 seconds and will be removed from the game for a standard removal penalty. And both teams can pick up the robots if they see that they do not respond to the logic, the intelligence they should follow, and try to restart them. Alex is trying immediately to go for the goal. Three of the robots are actively sw storming the opponent half, but Atevika defensive play is kind of efficient in this situation. We have a bunch of robots falling. Atevika can dribble through, and now we'll see probably the Alex goalkeeper in action maybe you have the green defender is trying to stop the blue strikers now we have another defender and yeah great defensive play by Alex situation is still pretty dangerous let's see if Alex can manage to get out of this good dribbling by ATVK now it's in Striking zone. But the kick is not strong enough. Our goalkeeper can leave the field. And now we see all the robots are trying to reach as fast as possible this free ball. The blue team works slightly faster than the green one, so it has a slightly advantage in this situation. But yeah, now they struggled a bit. That's a very physical fight in the middle of the field. And now, and now Alex got a 
good opportunity to try to reduce the yeah all right goal kick the the green robot directly kicked outside of the outside of the field and of course now the blue team will have the chance to restart the game good pass good pass to the blue team now they are in a pretty advantageous condition two versus two Oh, it's unfortunate. We have three blue robots that are trying to overcome the defender. But the Alps defender is quite strong. And is providing a strenuous resistance against the opponent offensive play. The green robot lost the ball for a second, but now they got it again. You can see the LED of their eyes blinking, meaning that the ball has been detected. And now they are going to pass it towards their strikers, but no! The blue team is covering any possible line of pass. They are pushing each other a bit. <laughs> Green Ford just got the ball. Now he's going for it. That's a contrast in the middle of the field, but no foul for the referee. And now it's back for blue team. Four robots of the blue team are ready to offend, but they are struggling a bit with these light conditions to understand what to do. <laughs> Gay kick, not just not strong enough. Good defensive play from Max. But blue team is still under control. So that's a foul, guys. Green 4 actively committed a foul against the blue team with the ball in the nearby. Hence, the blue team can now start again the game. It's quite of a confusing situation at the moment. Great defense play by the green robot. And now it's foul. The blue tree was a bit too aggressive in this situation and he committed a foul. So the green team now can go back. Robot 4 has, is now ready to go back to the game after waiting for its time penalty. And here you can see green 4 is walking back on the field now. Great pass from Ox. They are very close now to the opponent penalty area, but they just missed the ball. Green 7 now is back from the pickup. He can go and play again. One robot is almost leaving the field, but he was able to relocalize itself just in time. But well, actually, okay, he left the field. Great pass, probably, from the blue robots. But now the green robots are trying to stop them from reaching the ball. We'll see if the goalkeeper can get there fast enough. And sadly, he couldn't. Great defense from the goalkeeper. He's putting all of its strength to save this goal. And maybe he scared the blue robot enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Great action by both teams. The Axe goalkeeper was just too strong in this situation. We'll see in the next 
occasion. That's a good pass from Marx. Every robot is trying to reach for the ball, but the blue team is slightly, works slightly faster in this situation. So he, he managed to, to reach the ball first. So it's important to underline that every of these teams is developing the software to control these robots from ground up. So the performance will look a bit different because different logic is deployed on these robots. Now we see there was a great cooperative gameplay by the green team. But the blue team is using all this physical strength to, uh, to regain the ball control. Now he's trying like fake kicks in order to confuse the opponents. Great dribbling. The defenders missed the ball location and just left the blue robot. But no. That was a nice defensive play and now it's actively blocking, preventing the blue robot from reaching the ball. Great cooperation here. This blue robot is half naked, we don't know why. And now the, the green goalkeeper is ready to kick the ball away. Now we have kind of a real masculine contrast here. The green robot came out victorious. And the first half is over. Thank you for your attention. Hi, I'm Felix from the HTW UK Robots and we just saw a very interesting first half of the semi-finals against the Hawks uh, from Hamburg. It was certainly one of the most thrilling games I've ever seen in our league. We saw so much dynamics, so much passing, shooting. It was really incredible to watch. In comparison uh, to the first games here at the Robo Cup in Bordeaux, um, we are much better in walking, but also in passing, and especially in the change of positionings. When you see uh, our defender is attacking, another robot is uh, taking his position and tries uh, to defend the goal, and this is uh, something we worked on uh, in the in this Robo Cup here. I'm very excited about the second half now and I hope everything we've worked on in the past week uh, take us now to the finals. All right, both teams are ready. We are going back into the second half of the game. Now, of course, they are playing on the op op opposite side of the field. We'll see if their perception algorithm works as well as before. ATVK is employing a particular uh, initial position. All the three robots are basically aligned. Even though number four doesn't exactly know where it should place itself apparently. Those are the difficulties that robots will find on this side of the field since the white lines with strong light from outside are barely visible and white lines are used by robots to understand their location on the field. Immediate kick by Alks, but the blue robot were perfectly positioned on the field. And now the ATVK goalkeeper is going out for the ball. It's gonna fight against its own defenders. And yeah, the defender apparently is a bit stronger in this situation and the came out with the ball control. Good pass. Good pass left some space for the number two. And now we'll see if the green defenders are able to manage this dangerous situation. The blue robot is basically along, get pushed down, but without foul since some contact, some level of contact is allowed in SPL League. 
Now robot, now green fur is penalized for pushing. But since the ball was far away, there is no free kick, but just, we just continue with the normal game, but with one less green robot on the field. Green five, the goalkeeper was leaving the field. This happens if the robot is not perfectly localized. And now Alex are playing without goalkeeper and without a uh, midfielder for a few more seconds. Let's see if Ateveka can get the most out of this advantageous situation. Also, green five is penalized. All the, the four blue robots should try to get, should try to exploit their obvious advantage in this moment. Let's try with a kick, but great save for the defender. So this is not the goalkeeper, this is the defender. He cannot touch the ball with his hands. But knowing that his goalkeeper was out, he came back to save the situation. And now Alex has a very good opportunity. Number seven is ahead of the blue. He pushes it down and he goes on. No one can stop it. All the four blue robots are down, but no. Defenders are still there, perfectly in position to get back the ball control. But now the kick is a bit weak and green seven can again try to offend. Great dribble, great dribble by TVK. There are a bunch of robots in the goal of Alks. That's, that's problematic. There are no more, basically no more defenders to protect Hulks against the ATVK offensive action. Good dribbling here. And Blue Four can go for the kick. But it fell. Just a few moments before kicking. But that, the result didn't change. He's still able to get up and kick in the goal. Great goal from ATVK yeah. that they increase their advantage and now they can try to have a more defensive approach for the rest of the game. Many green robots are penalized. Two of them are picked up because of crashing in the software and they are coming back now. We'll see if after the kickoff the green team will be able to deploy on the field a sufficient number of robots to produce some arm <laughs> against the blue team. It's anyway a very great match until now. Both teams are giving their best uh, in order to overcome the opponent. We still see this particular uh, initial deployment uh, position from ATVK. Before it was really effective, we'll see if now it works the same. So now the green team have the kickoff, so the blue robot cannot touch the ball before now. And now both the teams can start play. This was a, g a great lifted kick. It was able to squeeze through the blue defenders, but yeah, it's not strong enough. There are no green robots in this half of the field. Now number seven is probably trying to get to the ball. So the blue robots have an easy ball control. This was, was a great dribbling by the blue team at EVK, we've, so, we've seen a lot of great dribbling actions today. And now he needs to overcome the last defender. He couldn't. There is some confusion on the green team, but yeah, they, they were able to get to the ball in the end. Great defensive play, I would say. No pushing according to the referee, also according to me. It was, it was a fair uh, contrast. But still, now the blue team is st still the, the ball control. They try to kick towards the goal, that there are no strikers in that area. We'll see, the green team is playing with two more robots for, for a long time now. So it's quite hard for them to, to organize a proper cooperative game because yeah, they just don't have enough teammates on the field.
it was a great sprint race. No one, they got to the ball at the same time, but the blue robot has better ball control in this situation, so they managed to, to get through the defender. But now Ifa, uh, too tired after this sprint, and that's, that's problematic. That's important in our, in our standard platform league. Robots joint will over it very quickly, so it's very important that they don't run too much. Great defensive from, from the Grim team again. Great defend, green defenders are very strenuous. <laughs> And again, they are able to prevent ATVK from reaching the penalty area. Now the ball is lost. No one of the green team is actually seeing the ball. And Blue 5 got now a good, gets now a good chance. There was a great dribble stopped with barely legal ways. And now we have a great the uh, green defender. The situation now is pretty interesting. <laughs> but they, did, they weren't able to score again. Very dangerous situation still. Great defensive game by the goalkeeper, by the green goalkeeper. But the blue team, Mateveka, is still able to offend now. We have four versus four robots. Good defense by the Alks. The goalkeeper will miss the goal and Blue 7 was able to pretty easily kick inside the opponent goal. You can see a uh, green gray one is penalized now because he was like leaving the field. He, he wasn't able to correctly detect the goal location and he just missed it. After goal, robots need to go back to their uh, ready state. If they detect the whistle from the referee, we'll, go that, we'll, go, we'll do that immediately. Otherwise, they will wait 15 seconds and then a command from the game controller, the central PC, will be sent to them. Now, Green 7 is already perfectly placed to attempt a direct shot. And now we have a penalty for the blue robot because he wasn't able to, he didn't manage to get back to its, he wasn't, he didn't manage to get back to its uh, starting position, to his starting own half. And now the illegal position is called, so the blue robot is removed from the game. So now the goal is pretty, the, the space in front of the goal is pretty empty. Let's see if the green robot is able to get something out of it. But yeah, probably he didn't think the free range was large enough, so he preferred to kick the ball in front and try to win it with a physical contrast now. We have the three blue robots that are actively defending the ball control. But now no one of them is there to get this pass. Blue 7 is quite tired, apparently. And we have now green robots again in control. They both fainted now and we'll see what we can get out of it. The ball just stopped on the goal line. It's still there. The defender of green is, actually, is walking into the net. Now he's so the ball, he maybe flips. <laughs> the ball is still there, no one is able to free the space. Yeah, now they did. But Blue 7 still has a chance, no. He gave up, he gave up at the last moment. Still a very strong, st strong contrast. The ball is just in front of Alk's goal. It has been there for the past 30 seconds at least. Every robot is slowly converging to this location. And that's the goal. And in the end, that's the goal. 
defended Trieste, given all, all, all of its best to protect its team go. Again, we need to underline that the green goalkeeper that is wearing a grey jersey is was not on the field at this time, so Alex uh, needed to invent, reinvent their defensive strategy in order to prevent a goal from Mateveca. Now the robots are slowly going back to their starting position. And we'll see if this time they manage to get back to that in time. Now we are in the ready state. As soon as we get to set, you see the chest buttons of the robots uh, glowing yellow. And they cannot move anymore. So all of them were able to get back to their, starting, uh, to their uh, own side. Green 7 can stay everywhere in the center circle because they have the kickoff, so that was not illegal. Uh, but yeah, it seems that the defensive strategy of the blue team is just very effective uh, in this match. Also considering that in this side, the blue side of the field, the light is very uh, tricky. And it's very challenging for robots to walk towards this side. Both blue team and, gre and green team had struggled a bit uh, during this game. We have a good dribbling from Robot 4. It got stopped by the defender. And now defender green 2 can try to pass the ball to their midfielders. Number 6 lost for a second the ball location. And now he's trying to gain it back. He got it. He got it now. Blue four fell, so leaving space and chances for the green six robot. But that's over. The game is over at the VK one against Alps, and they are going directly to the final for first second place against BU. Thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed.